Hello Cancers and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your weekly love reading for September 8th through the 14th. Um, guys, I just want to start off by sending um, my love and prayers to anyone in the Bahamas or anyone who has family in the Bahamas, anyone who is in the path of this hurricane. Um, I myself am in uh, southeast Florida. Thank goodness it's, you know, passing us. Um, we're still all on edge here. It was eerily quiet today. It was like really weird. Um, but hopefully it'll be over soon. So I just wanted to start off by saying that. And um, guys, if you're currently subscribed to my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support you have shown. Um, if you're not currently subscribed, please be sure to click that red subscribe button. I choose multiple winners a month um, for uh, free love readings. I give away oracle cards and tarot cards. You can um, click that bell next to the subscribe button because the winners are announced in the um, monthly love reading. So if you're currently a subscriber of mine, please check out your September monthly reading to see if you won. Okay, because I've already announced the winners for August. Um, if you would like to book me for a personal reading, uh, my information is in the description box below. It is $10 off your first reading with me. Um, you can go to my website at www.thetaroflight.com um, or you can you know, go to the description box below, my email address, my phone number, everything is down there, okay? Um, guys, the deck that we're going to be using today is absolutely gorgeous. I love this deck. It's called the uh, Chakra Wisdom Tarot deck. It is number 55 in the description box below. No, I have not updated the list. I will get to it. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but there is an Amazon link um, there in case you're interested in purchasing. I really love this deck. Uh, let's see, guys. All right, so let's see what we have going on for the second week of September. All right, guys, so you know how this works. If it resonates, um, great. If it doesn't resonate, it's just not your message. It's a collective reading. It's not meant for everybody, okay? Um, all right, so we're starting here with the Two of Coins. The Two of Coins. So I feel like, you know, Cancer, you might be getting this feeling that you're being juggled with someone else. Um, or that your person is, you know, juggling work and you, maybe your person is a workaholic, okay? Because I am seeing um, a lot of coins here. Or maybe, Cancer, you're juggling, because we have the, the Nine of Coins here, which is um, generally the Nine of Coins is Virgo energy. It's uh, It represents being single, an independent person, someone who's financially stable. And mind you guys, that doesn't mean that you have to be single right now. You guys can be in a relationship, but, you know, just as your own person, you know, you're just very work-oriented and on your game, okay? So that could be you or that could be your person. So right now you may be trying to juggle your lug, your lug life, listen to me, words, Gina, um, your love life and your career, okay? With the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups, I feel here that, you know... For some of you, this may resonate with some of you, you're in a relationship that's fairly new and it's quickly becoming boring because, you know, you're focusing too much on work or they are focusing too much on work, okay? Um, or I feel here that, you know, there is, um, yeah, a new beginning in love here and somebody just is not getting their cup filled. Okay, someone here is just not getting the attention and the love that they need. So, Cancer, if it's you that's focusing too much on work, your person is feeling neglected. Okay, we have the Eight of Coins and the Four of Coins. Yep, you're stacking. You're working hard and you're stacking that money. Okay, Cancer, you're working really hard and you're stacking that money. Now, that could be your person too. It doesn't have to be you. This could be vice versa. But... With the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess, um, maybe some of you are light workers, okay? Um, 
Ultimately, though, I feel here the Queen of Swords, she doesn't play. I mean, this is Capricorn, Tor I'm sorry, excuse me. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. She slays the competition, okay? And if you're a divine masculine, that's fine. You know, gender doesn't matter here. But the point here is, is that you guys are not in your emotions right now, okay? It is money time. You guys are banking, you're saving your money, you're working hard, you're all about career right now, okay? So you're not warm and fuzzy right now. This is not warm and fuzzy season. You're you're on your you know, you're on your shit, okay? And um with the high priestess here, I feel like, you know, spiritually, you've really come into your energy. You're using your intuition to make uh, strategic and intelligent work moves and business moves. Um, you know, even through prayer manifestation, uh, you're, you're really just on point with, with work right now. And it may be affecting your love life a little bit, Cancer. Again, this could be your person. It could be vice versa. So, you know, we have here the Four of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So the Four of Swords is, you know, thinking, 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 um, that this could be a, a beautiful Ten of Cups union with your person, but I feel that, you know, one person is just kind of bored. You know, look, we've got the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. Like, one person is just like, okay, whenever you want to come home, I'm waiting. You know what I'm saying? Um... I feel like, you know, you're in a, you're in this beautiful partnership, Cancer, and, you know, your person is just like, hello, I'm here, you know, and with the lover's card here, the lover's card is an indicator of having, generally, it's an indicator of having to decide or make a decision between lovers, but this is a soulmate connection, this can be your twin flame, um, and I feel here with the two of wands, you know, the fact that we're focusing so much on work, it's causing distance between you guys. It's you're, you're, it's like your your lover, your person is feeling like you're choosing work over them. Okay? Now here we have the Page of Pentacles and the Justice card. Okay? So I feel like Spirit is advising you, okay, to maybe go to your person or your person may be coming to you um, offering a date. You know what I'm saying? Even though you're living with this person, you know, date night or something, because we have an apology here. Okay, maybe it's, you know, for some of you, it may be, you know, you may have to apologize for your person and do the right thing and say, listen, I'm sorry that I've been, you know, working. Um, again, here, we can be dealing with a Libra. We could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. So, Cancer, you may have to, like, apologize to your person, maybe offer them date night, you know, one night that's just for them, okay, and give them a little bit of attention and do right by the situation. Um, or, Cancer, if it's your person that's making you feel neglected, you know, they really need to step up their game and, you know, do date night and come towards you. Um, we have the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups, and the King of Swords. So, yeah, I mean... You're in this King of Swords energy, you're in this Queen of Swords energy, again, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and you're very much like just boss, CEO, you know, maybe you opened up your own business, maybe you got a better paying job, you're really working towards something, and you're forgetting to send messages of love to your person, you're forgetting to go towards your person with love, okay, and what's going to happen is, you know, I feel like someone here may, you know, be like, all right, I'm out, you know, with the Six of Swords, okay? So, Cancer, this might be you walking away. This might be your person walking away. Um, or for, you know, f some of you, it could just be like, listen, you know, I, 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 I want the relationship to move from this place that it's in. I, I don't like where we're at right now, and this has to change, okay? Um you know, the Six of Swords is also an indicator of traveling. You know, maybe you guys should, um, you know, go on vacation, go travel, do something, maybe take a weekend trip, okay? We have the Judgment card here. So we have, you know, a second chance happening. So your person may forgive you for this and a second chance, or you may judge that, yeah, things need to change with the Empress card here, okay? Things may need to change. Um, you know, with the Strength card, we could be dealing with a Leo. With the Judgment card, we could be dealing with a Sagittarius. The Empress is Aries, Taurus, Libra, or Cancer. Um, with the Strength card here, we, we you know, we want to try to work on the relationship and build a firm foundation, 
okay? We don't want people feeling like they have to tame their emotions or they're not able to speak, okay? I feel like with the chariot here, this is cancer energy. Your your life, you're just moving too fast. I feel like you wake up in the morning, zip, 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 you're out. You're zipping here, you're zipping there, you're doing this, you're doing that. And your person is kind of left in this, um, you know, seven of pentacles mode. Like, oh yeah, I remember the last time you paid attention to me. It was like six months ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so your person is kind of left with just memories of like, you know, how you used to be. And, you know, they're really wanting a, a new beginning. They're wanting a new beginning with you. They're wanting you to be a little more carefree, okay, with the full card here. Look how beautiful that card is. They're wanting you to be, and there's a lot of red there in this card. And the first thing I'm thinking is sexy and passionate, okay? Your person maybe wants more passion from you, more, you know, sex. Show, show them more that you want them passionately, okay? Because right now, and the first thing I'm picking up here is this blue. It's reminding me of ice, of cold. With the five of wands, I feel like there's a lot of, um, you know, strife. A lot of, you know, fighting or arguing here. A lot of feeling cold, feeling alone. This person may feel like they're competing against your job. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't, you know, I see this five of, of swords here. And the seven of wands. I don't feel like this person wants to walk away. You know what I'm saying? But they may threaten it. You know, and with the seven of wands, seven of wands does speak about overcoming challenges. Okay. Um, I mean, we do have, you know, the queen of swords, the king of swords here. This is a soulmate connection. This is, a, you know, a husband and a wife. This is a mother and a father. We have the emperor and the empress here, okay? Um, this is a power couple that's happening here. But we also have the death card here, scorpionic energy. Um, we could also be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. But with the death card, this is saying certain things have to change. They have to change, you know, something in the relationship has to change because someone here is, you know, feeling emotionally disconnected because there's no passion with the King of Wands, okay? There's no passion here. With the Temperance card, you have to, you know, you have to figure out how to balance things out, balance out your schedule here, okay? Um, there's a couple of cards here that do worry me. Um, we have the Ace of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here. We have the Six of Swords and the Five of Swords. So I hope this doesn't lead to a breakup, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this into an extended. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll see, you know, your energy, your person's energy, you know, how you guys are feeling, the outcome of what's going to happen between you and your person for the second week of September. And, uh, and then we'll pull some oracle cards to get you some advice, okay, some clarity and some guidance uh, for the second week of September, okay? The link to the extended will be in the description box below. Um, if this resonated with you, please be sure to like. If you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to subscribe to enter a chance to win. Again, I choose multiple winners every month. And um, again, if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Take care, guys.